Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about the general section, specifically the test runner. So let's just get started. Now test runner, when you open this up, it's going to ask for you to create an edit mode test assembly folder. It also says that edit mode test can be in editor only assemblies. Keep that in mind. I'm going to just click create and it's going to create one for me called test. And then I'll just create a test script in that current folder. And then it's going to create this new test script and this test DLL. So if I click on the DLL right here, it is gonna show me all of this. So you can name your test. You could allow unsafe code. You could auto reference. You could have no engine references. You could override references. You could have the room namespace. You could define constraints. So you just add them here or erase them and just, you know, add your constraints right here. You could also use GUIDs, which will allow you to not have to rename it if you make any changes uh, to the reference assemblies you could also these are the reference assemblies right here so you could add your references right here so these are all the DLLs you could add to it now this is where you're most likely going to be at this are the platforms you could have any platform which will allow you to perform tests on all these platforms so this will allow you to run certain code make sure it works on all these platforms you could also have version defined you add a version defined you could select right here which one you want to define and you could define it here you could have an expression and then that will be the expression outcome so you would have to have an actual correct expression and that will be the expression outcome so it would be like version 29.00 or so you could you could you know add it as you want and then you just apply it I'm just gonna erase that and hit apply now now let me go over here to edit mode here is the actual test so as you can see we we have our tutorial project which is the name of my actual project and there's the test.dl so it would be this right here and then there's the new test script which is this right here and then it has two functions so it has a new test script simple passes and it has a new test script with numerator passes right here so if we click this up and open it up this is the script right here as you can see it's just a class and it doesn't derive from mono behavior so you wouldn't be able to test certain things like you would think so like for instance this right here i wouldn't just be able to copy and paste this and add this as well i would not be able to, to just do this even though this looks like it works and everything's fine there's no errors if i go back and i actually do a test and we run it we could see that it fails the only one that doesn't fail is the one that pretty much has a comment in it so as you can see right here it says use the cert class to test conditions so this is what we're gonna do so we're just gonna erase all this and we're just gonna make a simple one just to test we're gonna put var we're gonna name this a game object we're gonna name it new game object and this is just gonna be called so we're gonna create a new game object and it's be gonna be called my game object and then we'll Close it up the semicolon and then we're just gonna put assert dot r equal dot r equal and then we're gonna put my game object and then we're gonna put game object dot name so we're just gonna check if they are equal so if my game object is equal to the game object which is this one right here dot name which of course it's gonna be equal to it because we assign the name right here and if we go back and we run it all all the tests pretty much pass. So that's how you would run a simple test like that, but you could do more complex tests. There's also clear results. So if you have, let's say all these check marks or these little error icons could clear the results and it'll just clear them as normal. This shows the ones that haven't done the test yet. So if that test hasn't been ran yet, it'll show like this. There's also, you could categorize it or uncategorize it or show everything or nothing, but yeah. That's pretty much it for the test runner. And there's also progress. This is the last thing I want to show you guys before I end this video, just cause it's something real simple and probably none of us will use this. But if you click on progress, it'll show the background task. So let's say I go over here and I just comment this out and I save it and I go back. It's just going to show you, let me actually comment this one as well. So I don't get no error. It's just going to show you that it's compiling a script and it's 99% stuff like that so it just shows what unity is doing in the background the loading pretty much how long it's going to take stuff like that 
I think it would also work for, let's say, your lighting. If you want to actually bake, so as you can see, everything's working in the background and it shows you what's going on in the background. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys learned something new, if you guys just like this video, hit that like button. Help me keep making these videos, keep me motivated. Also hit that subscribe button, which will help this channel grow and help other people discover this channel and it will help them as well in their journey to making games in unity so once again thank you guys for everything